You're watching WRDE Coast TV. It's Tuesday. Here's your WRDE Today web news update. I'm Walt Barkas. Last week, Colleen Davis, the treasurer-elect, was charged with driving with a suspended license. Yesterday, she released a statement on her DMV problems. Earlier this month, I missed a court date for a speeding ticket I was contesting. This resulted in a temporary suspension of my license. I have paid my fine and my license has been reinstated. I made an honest mistake during a busy time leading up to Election Day. As working parents know, life can get hectic. It should not have happened. I'll do better going forward. A person was shot in the leg yesterday in Pocomoke City. The Worcester County Bureau of Investigation says it happened in the Walmart parking lot. They were taken to the hospital and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect is described as a white man, 6 feet tall, 250 pounds, going by the street name Wreck. He fled in a black sedan. Anyone with information asked to call police or crime solvers. Mount Air is already in the giving spirit with its annual event. This year is the 24th year that Mount Air has been providing meals for needy families on Delmarva with its Thanksgiving for thousands. This year, they're packing 8,500 boxes so people in need can enjoy a Thanksgiving meal. This event brings out hundreds of volunteers. And oh, it makes me feel warm inside. It makes me happy to know that I'm able to do this and be a part of a great group of people. It makes me feel good because, I mean, I don't, we don't have a lot of money myself, so knowing that I can help other people uh, have a good Thanksgiving is, is a good thing. In 24 years, Mount Air has fed close to 1 million people on Delmarva. Our WRD Person of the Day is Larry Stapleton of Long Neck. If you run into Larry, tell him to have a great day from all of us at WRDE. That's the latest WRDE Today web news update. I'm Walt Barkas.